Hey guys, it's Funko D here. Today we're going to be doing Road to F1 2016. So we're going to go from Australia to Brazil until the new F1 game comes out. So this start uh, championship season, we're going to race in Red Bull as Daniel Ricciardo and have the AR Legend. Let's have a long weekend and just go make this 25%. No practice, cause don't need it. And race settings, uh, legendary, assist, uh, all the assists look fine, and let's go into the race. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. Oh, it's raining. That makes it totally different. So let's see if we can get pole when it's raining. Level of the new cars and who might be contenders for this year's championship. But with rain falling, it's going to mix up the field. We expect the Mercedes power unit to be strong this season, but with today's weather, we may not get a true indication of which team came out strongest from pre-season testing. So let's head out, I can't, don't really know how to do setups, so we're just going to head out to the track and hopefully we can get a good lap in before everybody else does. Okay, we got stuck on two or three other cars, so hopefully we can get past them on the warm-up lap, but Probably not, but let's see. Okay, just to start, about to start our first flying lap. Fuel up to rich. Get no DRS because it's raining, so the times will be a lot slower than what they normally are. But let's hope that the Red Bulls are better than the Red First corner, got a bit earlier because it's raining. I've shot it a little bit. This is the first time I've ever done this game without the braking reference, so I don't really know where the braking points are. So I hope we don't catch the guys in front of us because that would fuck us up for our first lap. And hopefully we can get pole. A little bit there. Doesn't really matter because the corner cutting is a bit shit in this game. Break at the 150 mark, hit the grass a little bit, that's not good. Back straight ish area. Coming up to the S's. Hopefully, we can get a purple sector here. A green sector. Oh well. Always got more laps to go. Passing. Two guys in front of me are passing. Qualifying, which is not a good thing. Check the last corner. Last corner here. Too much tire spin. I think we're going to go for one more lap. Oh, we go to the top. We're on 33.6. Break. Oh, I haven't shot it. Just the gear. I'm gonna put it back in lane, and I think I'm gonna head back into the pit. Okay, let's go into session info and. Fast forward some time, let's see if the track dries out, but I doubt it, temperature's rising, so about the 5 minute mark I'll see if it's raining, oh it looks like it's stopped raining, so oh, not quite, I don't think it's quite ready for You're six just yet. Expectations? Great job. But 
Oh, about five minute mark of slicks just to see if it's fast enough. Okay, it's a six minute mark. I think it's still pretty wet. So I think we'll just retire from the session and go to Q2. A poor showing there from Fernando Alonso. The team were expecting okay, we got P5 at the end. It looked like it didn't dry out, out. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't go out and try and destroy some slicks. So see you in Q2. Okay, it's still raining in Q2. So let's just go out. Oh, I won't click fly. I wasn't meant to do that, but I did anyway. So let's go. Get a lap in early and hopefully the rain will stop sometime soon. Put the fuel up to Rich. Okay, last corner, get a good exit back out to the pitch straight. Right. Oh, we get the RS so it's a lot drier than Q1. This hopefully we can get P1. Into the first corner. Probably short a bit, so I turned in a little bit more early. DRS again open. We expect the range to stop in around 15 minutes. Through the car parts. Rand's gonna stop for 15 minutes, so we might be able to get a dry run in this. Quite sure yet. Yeah. Here we go. Purple sector, first sector. Hopefully, we don't catch the guys in front of us. Through the back section, we go. Broke a little bit too early for that corner, but we've got a good exit. Rankin's just done a 135 1. Coming up to the S's. Near green sector. Just went to the top. We shot the. Oh, we shot it a bit. Definitely gonna have to go for another one now. Second, back to last corner. Last corner, get a good exit. Steer a bit. I don't think we get, if I get pole here, it'd be very unlucky, and I have. Okay. Fantastic. That was a good lap. lap. Even though I went off, I still got a good lap. So I think we'll head back. I think I'll do one more lap just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. All this green stuff aren't going to just come out of nowhere. Oh, it went wide, okay. This is red. Red, okay, I'm gonna be heading back into the pits and I'll see you guys there. I think we're just gonna retire from this session because I don't think we're gonna get a wet ending to Lap this. times are dropping. Looks like track conditions are starting to improve. Or even though the engineers just told me that the lap times are dropping, so we'll go into season info, we'll just fast forward it a bit about the four minute mark and see if it's stopped raining. Okay, I'll stop it here. Uh, it still looks pretty wet, so I think I'll just retire from session and go to Q3. Daniel Ricciardo would have been oh. to get into the top 10 shootout in today's qualifying. I got knocked out. Like performance just wasn't I've gone to 14. For an improvement got now dry enough for slicks. Okay, so I guess we're not. I guess we're starting back at the back. I guess that's a good thing because now I can pick primes if I go for a longer stint at the start of the race. So, you see at the grid. It's nearly five o'clock here, local time, and welcome to race day here in Melbourne, Australia. 
The cars are on the grid and they should be setting off shortly for the formation lap. It's a great position for Lewis Hamilton to start the season from and one that he'll be hoping he can capitalise on and turn into a race win today. Well, we all know that Lewis has raw speed and if you give him a fast car, he'll win races. So if he can stay out front by the end of the first few corners, I'm sure he's going to be very difficult to beat. Kimi Raikkonen will be hoping that the same Urs problems that hampered him and his Ferrari throughout qualifying have been resolved ahead of today's race. But well, the problem surfaced at the start of qualifying and meant that Kimi didn't have full power for the majority of the session. His ERS simply wasn't boosting as it's designed to. Missing that 160 brake horsepower definitely affected where he qualified on the grid. Okay, we're here on the grid and I think we're going to go onto primes and do a longer stint at the start. Well, it's actually one lap. But I think if we need, a bat, if we need to try and catch Hamilton or Rosberg at the end, I think the primes is the way to go. So, let's start. One red light, two red light, three red light, four red light, five red light, and away we go. The right start, but got to remember we're on prime, so we're on the slower tyre. So we've got to do the fire our way through, just cut Kimmy off a little bit there. Run a bit wide, just trying to get some Ericsson, slip stream off Ericsson. Trying to get a There. Oh, got a good run, got Ericsson, got Perez, underbraked, massive bomb dive, good exit, I'm for NASA now, big engineer, through the S's for the first time, cut it a little bit, shouldn't have done that. Didn't get a warning. If the F1 2016 a lot stricter on the corner cut. On dive NASA. Pushed him a bit wide. Might not get taken out by him at this time. Not giving up his position very easily. Watch the inside. There's two cars ahead. I'm gonna run them wide. Of you, there's a yellow flag ahead. No for that. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Okay. Let's get back up to racing speed. Oh, he's coming back. Who's this? Perez. Get down my inside. Give him a little bump, bump and run. Give him, get him. Oh, gone a bit wide there. Got him anyway. Now let's see if we can. You've taken the catch of my teammate Kiviat. Our starting fuel has now been used, so that's three quarters remaining. Three quarters. Shut that a bit. Should be catching for Sapin anytime soon now. Hamilton. 
the hell's that heap? Green flag, we're racing again. Obviously not these wrong thing wrong. Now we'll try and get past our teammate here, flat out through there. Down the inside. Give him, give him racing room. Gone off, I don't know why. Give you coming back at us here. On the brakes, he's oh, he's gone wide. Gave him racing room. Now it's Grosje on standing. Grosjean's in the pits. Everyone's starting to pit now. So we should get a couple of places. Not many. We have Bottas and Rosberg. Pits just then. So we should pit on this lap. Hopefully. Gain some. Get undercut. Overcut. Later, spend some time while they're on prime. Look at that, just need to check what that was. Another yellow flag. I don't know who this is. Hamilton again. Oh, they got overtake on. Return to position. What? Oh, that's where. Oh, five second penalty. I didn't. I was in. F what? Oh, I give you under yellow. Passing. Oh, well. Now we just have to work, work harder. of our starting fuel. I plan to. Definitely not going to get that one. Should be out of going. Looks like Massa has come into pit. There we go, we've just gone into first. Not going to go big. Rosberg behind me. Oh, nice. Right into the next couple of corners. The brakes are running too cold. Because I think Rosberg has not pitted. Has pitted already. So, Baga. We'll see. Daniel's front wing is barely hanging on. It's in a really bad way. Groups haven't come at us here. I think I'm just gonna let him go by. Got the pace. Oh, he's hit me. Actually, can take him out. Hopefully that. At the line. How to get a podium. Just out in front of Rockingham. So we haven't lost any positions. But now we've got some work to do. 
might stop working here, so sorry about that, so I'm going to have to do over the top country. So, at the moment, just about to catch Hulkenberg. Car park, get a good exit. Okay, really quick here. You're much faster than the car ahead through right up on the tower now. Oh, wow, give it a little bump. Get it bad. Look at the S's. Cut the corner a little bit. Cut the corner again. Then we'll run out of there. Yeah. Might stop working here, so sorry about that. So I'm going to have to do yeah, over the top of the So at the moment, just about to catch Hulkenberg. Got about a lap and a half to go. I'm just going to drop the fuel down to the left, uh, standard at the moment. Fuel. Uh, just need a time between five seconds of running and five seconds of penalty. That's the only time I can't help. I don't know why we didn't get it. So right here, I'll do it in between one second. So, just about to start a long run. You're gaining a second per lap on Rosberg. Raikkonen's yeah. struggling to keep up with your times. He's falling back by a second a lap. One second a lap. Rosberg's next. Just five seconds separate you. Seconds. Run wide here, which doesn't help me gain the five seconds I need at my like turn. Turn around, third block, and run. Tell, it's the race, second block, and run. Good exit, and it's the last one, and run. Still didn't get the arrow. Turn it to the line. Cross the line at fifth. And that's where we stay. also sees the four-time Drivers World Champion on top of the driver's table. It's a fantastic start to the season for the German. Well, Seb has definitely thrown down the gauntlet here to the other drivers. They've seen him dominate seasons before, so he'll be slightly worried whether this may be the start of another one. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until and the next the first race. race of Road to F1 2016 series. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe and peace out from down there.